Hi everyone, how are you all doing today? I'm Andy and welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a quick video on um, just showing you a heat press that I received recently from Vivor. Not sure if I'm saying that right, but I'm going to put all their information in the description and their link where you can get it and all those stuff. Yeah, so um, a heat press is just basically an iron but with a with a bigger plate and you just kind of just press it and then does the job for you. Um, it's mostly used for um, uh, projects like printing t-shirts and um, well for me on my case it's pressing photos on um, on fabrics that will be used for a photo quilt. So very helpful if you guys make photo quilts. Also, um, having crickets or die, die cut machines or um, cameo silhouette cameos, these are very um, helpful. Uh, well, these actually go together. It's not that it's helpful, but it, it they go together. So also, there's so many different types of heat presses. I have. A portable heat press it's I think 10 by 10 inches and this one that I'm going to show me showing you is a 15 by 15 so it's pretty big and it's really good it's also very beginner friendly I was a bit intimidated when it arrived because it's massive and I thought how am I gonna use this but it's so straightforward it's very easy it's it's literally there's nothing more you will actually do to set this machine up so let me show you here is the machine so that's they control the temperature and the like the alarm setting mm -hmm. that's the pressure of this two together so you just turn it like that if you want it if you want it really deep yeah, don't want that much okay and here this is the only thing that you have to add when the machine arrives so it comes in the in a really big box and this is separate with a few screws and washers so then you just uh, literally just attach attach it you don't even need a screwdriver i just did it on you know using my fingers that's it and it's great this one is padded so it doesn't hurt your hand also it's really heavy this one is really heavy also one thing i want to say is i've got a transformer here um it's because in the uae we use 220 voltage and this machine is uh only 110. so yeah but if you're from the us uh, that's no problem at all you just can go ahead and use it uh, right away but yeah um, and this is the on and off button and that's it let's try and open it there we go and here I think it's Teflon like coat and this is their like foamy bit not sure what that's called but you get a manual that says literally everything and it's quite easy to follow it's all the information is here yeah it's them vivor so that's their company anyway we're gonna try this um i've already tried it before and it's really good very easy to use to show you how I use it and here are just some heat transfer vinyls I've got using my silhouette machine and here is uh, like a mother and child like that and it's two bunnies and then just something that says OMG yeah so we're gonna do that and here are the materials I'm gonna use this is a cotton drawstring, a linen tote bag, and a curtain material, upholstery material um, drawstring. So we're going to try it on three different materials. Um, yeah, let's do that. Let's turn on the machine. 
So first, let me turn on my um, transformer. Okay. And then here. Okay. Then you see the light and then just wait for the temperature. So how do you set a temperature? Um, first, you click on OK and then you see um, the P again. P1 or P1 or P2. P1 is the temperature. So let's say P1. And then you go 250 to let's say let's set it to to uh, 275. Um, and oh, press OK. And then P2 is the alarm. How many seconds do you want it? I'm going to put 15 seconds. Now, I'm not following any of my heat transfer vinyl instruction on, you know, how hot you want it or how how many seconds you should do it. I've lost that uh, information when I received my vinyl. So, um, I'm just going to eyeball this and um, see if it works. But anyway... If you're doing this um, professionally, you might want to consider looking at the packaging of your, um, say, your heat transfer vinyl. How many seconds, how hot do you need it to be, and all those things so you don't waste them. Okay, and here, um, I'm just waiting for it to heat up. Okay, actually, put that up. So I can already feel it's heating up nicely. Okay, it's now hot enough. So I'm just going to give this a press for a few seconds. Make it flat. So for this one, I'm going to be using these two bunnies. Okay. I've Okay, that's enough okay now that's ready so I'm just gonna place my bunny there and there maybe that way okay and then give this a press again Then you'll hear the alarm. That should be done. Now I'm gonna check if that's actually enough because I'm not sure. Um, it needs a bit more. So I'm gonna do another 15. Later. Okay, I did another press. Let's see, it's very hot. Let me try and peel it off. It's it's not stuck properly, so you can still see a bit of um the print. So I'm gonna do another press. I think I should have done a really hot press. Adjust the temperature. Three hundred thirty. And then just gonna wait for that to um, heat up a bit. Then we press it again. Okay, that's pretty hot. We're gonna come back to that later. Okay, let's do this one. Just gonna press, place it right there. I think I'm gonna do it right here. M, M, it's O, M, G.
Okay, so I've I've tried removing the cover and it is very good. So I just needed it to be a lot hotter like this. Okay, let's leave that one there. So as you can see here, this one's quite good. That's pretty good. Another one. There you go. So there's my drawstring bunny. <laughs> okay, let's try this one. Ooh. This is the curtain material. It's really hot. I saw other people use uh, actually gloves. I can see the thing is coming off, so I'm going to give it another press. Be very careful you don't touch this bit, because that's the really hot, hot bit. Now here's all of them, I've peeled them off, and they're really good. That. Um, so I think you just do more seconds if you have to, and always make sure to check the recommendation settings of um, your, you know, your products. Say this one, for example, is the heat transfer vinyl. This is the smooth um, type. So like this, I could have done a bit more um, seconds there, but you know, this just shows that it's really easy to print on any material. And this machine is really good. I really, I honestly really like this product and um, it's definitely very useful, uh, especially for my uh, future projects that I'm thinking of, I'm definitely going to be using this a lot more. So if you guys um, want to explore on um, printing on your, you know, on your bags or anything, consider, you know, purchasing this one on the uh, description below, just you, you'll find the link. And it's amazing. Um, also, it's very easy to use, very straightforward and it heats up really quite well 
and yeah it does the job um that's basically it so thank you everyone for always supporting my channel and also thank you vivor or vivor I'm not sure how you pronounce that um thank you so much for this amazing product and also you guys i have a lot of tutorials on my on my channel check it out i've got patterns very beginner patterns that you can also check it out uh yeah that's all and thank you everyone again and hope uh, to see you again next time be kind to everyone